NASA, the best space agency in the world, recently made a startling discovery that has shocked the scientific community. NASA scientists have found a huge object the size of a planet hurtling towards our sun at an alarming rate. They did this by using high-tech equipment. The path of the object is so scary that some experts have called it terrifying. This makes us wonder what this means for our planet and its people. As the whole world watches with bated breath, NASA continues to gather information and look into this strange object, hoping to find answers and reassurance in the face of something that has never happened before. Before we get into the video, subscribe to our channel now and hit the bell icon for more such updates. Let's get started. Two astronomers discovered what is most likely the largest comet that has ever been seen in June of last year. At first there was some doubt as to whether the object wasn't a dwarf planet orbiting like a comet. This mega comet is traveling from the outer solar system towards the inner solar system and it's quickly moving towards our sun. Now, the mega comet's discoverers and numerous co-authors have recently published the findings of three months of research into this extraordinary object in a paper. Its orbit has been analyzed and its most recent trip to the sun occurred about 3.5 million years ago. The distance it traveled last time was only 18 astronomical units, which is almost halfway to Uranus. This time it will travel nearly twice as far. It's likely to soon reach the sun at its closest point in history, making it the cleanest comet we have ever seen and a genuine relic of the early days of the solar system. It is unavoidable that the initial measurements of the size of this object, which is known as UN271, were inaccurate. Since then, the authors have decided on a measurement of 100 miles or 150 kilometers across. Its volume is 10 times greater than even a large comet like Hale-Bopp and thousands of times greater than an ordinary comet. For comparison, Arakoth, the farthest world that humanity has ever explored, is 22 miles or 35 kilometers long and 12 miles or 20 kilometers wide. Comet 67P, one of the first things that astronomers wanted to know about Object 271, was whether or not it had already begun to demonstrate cometary activity. Cometary activity is defined as the process by which material transforms into a gas and creates a coma. The Dark Energy Survey, DES, and NASA's Planet Hunter TESS had both obtained photographs of UN271 in 2018, but no one had noticed its significance at the time. As a result, the authors looked back at prior images to determine whether or not they contained any telltale markers of fussiness. There was a discrepancy in the data that was discussed and covered, with TESS reporting an object that was nearly twice as bright. The reason for this discrepancy turned out to be that TESS was aggregating over a larger area near UN271, while DES was just focusing on a tiny part of the region. This part of the region included a massive but weak coma that suggested material had been escaping for a significant amount of time, although the composition of the coma, because carbon dioxide is thought to be the gas that is most likely to carry dust particles as it departs, this particular object has been studied and is not a threat. However. What about other objects that we still don't know anything about? One such example is an object that was discovered in October 2017 and resembles an elongated cigar. It was the first ever discovered interstellar visitor from a far off unknown solar system and it was given the Hawaiian name Oumuamua, which means a messenger from afar arriving first. The astronomer who made the initial discovery, Robert Warrick of the University of Hawaii, recognized right away from its speed that he was looking at something new to physics. This wasn't your typical comet or asteroid, rather it was the first ever discovered interstellar visitor. The first was that it seemed to be moving away from the sun at an unexplained rate, which was challenging to explain in light of the different theories that had been proposed on the possible components of the object. The second peculiar aspect of Oumuamua was its shape. According to some calculations, it was 10 times longer than it was wide. The longest space objects that were known before Oumuamua were only about three times as long as they were wide. In the years that followed, these ratios were closer to three to one. It was speculated that it could have been a solid chunk of hydrogen, a cosmic dust bunny, a large-scale extraterrestrial counterpart of the hair and debris that are sometimes seen under living room furniture. Or it could have been an artificial creation by an advanced extraterrestrial civilization, as renowned Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb proposed. Rumors began to fly around in scientific journals and headlines from all over the world. UFO enthusiasts think that the latter is the case, but there is no solid proof to suggest that. Some have even suggested that extraterrestrials are controlling the amount of light and heat the Earth gets from the Sun, and that is why we have seen numerous sightings of UFOs hanging around our Sun. 
According to these people, this video from the Solar Heliospheric Observatory satellite appears to show evidence of extraterrestrials using the Sun. However, we do not know for certain whether this is the case. The well-known UFO sightings are owned by Scott C. Waring, who is also the author of the sightings. The website took notice of the footage and claimed that the video made him think of an article he had read years earlier about two Russian scientists who had spotted UFOs larger than our moon that were doing an unknown daily 24-hour activity around the sun. There is also the possibility that the solar system is teeming with stray pieces of the larger galaxy that are so dark that they only surface when their route happens to pass directly across the sun. Now that scientists have found two interstellar travelers, their hunch has been more or less confirmed. However, it is still very difficult to determine just how common these objects are and how frequently we may expect to see them. It takes sophisticated technology to pick up the dim illumination that emanates from interplanetary objects. A mountain that is 2,682 meters or 8,799 feet high in the country's north it is set to open this year and will house the largest digital camera ever built for the field of astronomy. It will conduct nightly surveys of the night skies looking for near-Earth objects with a diameter of at least 140 meters or 500 feet, roughly two-thirds the size of the moon. It is scheduled to open this year and will house the largest digital camera ever built. Avi Loeb has high hopes that the telescope will be able to detect the next interstellar object as it approaches our solar system which would allow us to have sufficient time to launch a spacecraft to capture it and have a better look. He used the OSIRIS-REx mission as an example, which was launched in September 2016 and has already reached the asteroid Bennu, which is located more than 200 million miles or 321 million kilometers from Earth. It is now returning and it is scheduled to do so this year with pictures and samples. In his words, and that will tell us if it's artificial or natural and of course, if it looks artificial, that will be very interesting, and we could land on it and even read the information on it. He said that if we find something that we've never seen before, let's collect more data on it and figure out the nature of it, because then we will learn something new about the nurseries or factories that make such objects. So what do you think these objects are? Loeb wants the scientific community to remain open-minded no matter what happens, especially if our third encounter with an interstellar object proves to be just as puzzling as Oumuamua. Loeb wants the scientific community to stay open-minded no matter what happens, especially if our third encounter with an interstellar object is just as strange as Oumuamua. He said, If we find something we've never seen before, let's collect more data on it and figure out what it is because then we will learn something new about the nurseries or factories that make these objects. What do you think these objects are? Tell us in the comments section now. Give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. Thank you.